What is up guys? Jake from One Hive here with our next theory craft video. Uh, this one's going to be on the poison spell. How to use it, when to use it, uh, should you always bring it, these type questions. And this could turn into a mini series, I'm not sure. Uh, possibly we'll do one on the haste uh, and then maybe even the earthquake if, if and when the use is found for that. Um, but for poison, pretty much universally we're seeing it brought uh, regardless of the attack style. Um, haste is not being as used as much as I thought it would, and maybe it's just a lot of people don't quite have it yet, it being the last spell you get, but um, I did try it with a Laloon attack, and um, it it did not work the way I thought it would. Uh, but that's a, that's a topic for another video. We will discuss that. I'll probably do one on haste, but this one's on poison, uh, and I'm seeing it brought pretty much every attack. And you know, the obvious question, what we thought would happen immediately, is that every clan would switch over to using high HP troops. Troops that uh, the poison's not going to take out. And, and, you know, the spell alone will not take it out. And that's just simply not been what we've ran into. Um, in fact, most every attack, they still have archers, they still have wizards, witches, things like that, that the poison spell is tremendously effective against. If you'll, you know, you don't have to do alert. You can send the golems in just like you're seeing in the background here. And when those troops come out, you just drop the poison on them. Uh, you, you know about where they're going to stop. They're going to stop and engage your golems. Hopefully, they're going to be out front. And uh, you just put it right there on top of them, and it wrecks them pretty quickly. Your queen's obviously going to have to clean, clean up, or your wizards, whatever's left. Um, but the question was brought up about when they do, when, when clans, and it's going, it's going to happen. The shift will take, I guess, it'll trickle down. Uh, if you're in a high-level war, you're not going to see all that stuff, that easy stuff to take out with a poison in the CC. But I still think it's worth bringing. Uh, and the question arose, you know, should you go ahead and drop it on the uh, on the CC troops and just, you know, give them that little extra damage? And at first thought about it, you would say, yeah, just go ahead and drop it on there. But honestly, you shouldn't. You should hold on to it. Um, if, regardless of what attack you're bringing, if you're bringing hogs, if you're bringing, uh, especially if you're bringing a lot loon attack, uh, we've all had times when those skeleton traps pop and they really can wreak havoc on those balloons at the end of attack if, if there's not a lot of pups around to help clean them up. Or, you know, maybe just your hogs. You know, they're they're stuck on a on the last few defenses and you got the king and you got those skeletons beating on them. It's a lot of cumulative damage, especially if you don't have a heal for them. Uh, so what I would say is this. It, it, let's just say, okay, here's the game plan. Uh, we're attacking a base and we don't know what's in the CC. We don't know where the skeleton traps are. We don't know whether they're set to air or ground. The the plan one, the, the step one when you go in should be, yes, you're going to bring a, a, a poison spell. You're going to use it. You're going to plan on using it for those CC troops. If they come out and it's witches, wizards, archers, uh, especially witches, uh, you're going to drop it on. You're going to bring in, you're going to get them right there in a group. You're going to drop the poison spell on them and continue with your attack. Now, let's say you're doing it and a dragon pops out. I would say the, the, the smart play is to hold on to it. Uh, you know, when, when they said again, if you're bringing a hog attack, when those skeletons pop and you know your hogs are about to stop on a, on a defense and start hitting, drop that poison spell. It's going to kill those skeletons in a matter of, like, of a second, second and a half. They're going to be gone. They have so little of HP, uh, and it's going to free up that damage from being on your hogs. Now, the flip side of that is, is you know, you could... Maybe he's got a skeleton trap set to air and you're bringing a hog attack. Well, that stinks and you've sort of wasted your poison spell, but how much damage was it really going to do uh, to that dragon in the CC? It's probably not going to be a big amount and it might save your queen or your wizard one shot, but they're still going to take it out. Uh, now, the the time that you that I would say don't do this, go ahead and drop it on the, uh, on the air trap, or it should be on the uh, CC troops, even if you know that's a high HP, uh, troop of some sort that's not going to kill is this. If you're bringing an attack, let's say you're doing a Laloon attack and it's a cleanup attack and you already know that the the CC troops, or excuse me, the, the skeletons are set to ground. There's been an attack on it already. They either didn't come out from an air attack or it was a ground attack and the skeletons came out. Now you know you're safe to go ahead and use it for that to soften that uh, CC troop up. Go ahead and spend it. You could have the argument, well, a haste spell is better, and maybe it is. But we're going to talk more about that in, in the haste spell video. But almost universally, that extra slot is is best used as a 
as a poison spell. Not always, I'm not saying every time, I'm saying most of the time. Uh, flip side of that is, again, to say that you're bringing a ground attack and you know it's a cleanup attack and some someone's attacked it and you know that the air skeletons or the skeletons are set to air. Go ahead and use it on the CC troops. Get your value out of it. But if you don't know or you know for sure that it that the skeletons are set to a uh, ground or air that is going to affect your attack, hold on to it for that. Obviously, primary use, take out the CC troops if it's possible. If they've got witches, if they've got wizards, use it for that. But as a, if they come out and it's not an option, hold on to it. Watch for those skeletons bunching up. It, again, I've seen so many attacks where uh, you know a skeleton trap goes to air, and the, those are you know six or seven loons left, but those skeleton traps just pick away at them, pick away at them. There's no pups. The queen's not in the area, and it pretty much costs someone a three-star. So that would be an ideal spot to drop that. The spell, the a poison spell, being able to affect air and ground troops. I mean, that's awesome. You can wipe out all those air skeletons in just a few seconds. Again, they have so little of hit points. Uh, you just drop it on them, and boom, they're taken care of. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Just think about it that way. Be sure you're checking. If you're doing a cleanup attack, you'd be surprised how many times people don't look for those things, uh, those skeletons, to see what they're set to. If if you can see, uh, but you know, even if the attack was a failure, a lot of times. You know, if you're bringing a hog attack and you just didn't see any skeletons, the skeletons are probably set to air. So that tips you off to that. Uh, but be sure and check it on the replays when you're going in. I think this will absolutely uh, give you more three stars. The The fact that you're going to get something out of that poison spell, no matter which way you slice it, if you take this approach, uh, I think is really going to help a lot of people. Because I've heard so many times in the comment section, people saying, oh, those skeletons, they wrecked my hog rate or whatever. Well, here you go. You know, this is the this is the anti-skeleton. I mean, it's it's one spell. It takes one slot. You've got the extra slot anyways. Bring it. Hold on to it. Those skeletons bunch bunch up on your hogs. Drop it right on top of them. And again, you're going to see them just vanish quickly. Uh, so there you go, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope it gave you something that maybe you haven't thought about before or used for this spell. Again, I will uh, probably end up doing one for sure on the haste and probably in the end before it's all said and done on the earthquake. So hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're looking forward to the next ones. Until then, guys, Jake from One High, doing my very best to help everybody suck less.